Hello friends, this is a follow-up video to the one which I made earlier, the unboxing of the E-Stop uh, uh, 1664. That's a 16-hole chromatic brass comb. Uh, just a few uh, couple of hours ago, I made a, an unboxing video of that. I received it this morning. And as seen in that video, I had, uh, an, uh, I thought it was a minor issue, uh, the draw on the fifth hole, which is the second octave uh, D. Uh, I couldn't do it and I thought it was just a gap adjustment because as we all know, uh, most harmonicas, uh, in fact all out of the box may not uh, suit every kind of uh, player. So with that in mind, I opened up the covers just to check the gaps. And while observing, I thought, okay, why not have a look at uh, if there's anything, you know, inside. I opened up the mouthpiece and uh, I have taken a few pictures and I would like to talk to the uh, distributor and uh, see if something can be done about it. Uh, because I believe uh, the workmanship is a question here of the comb and also uh, uh, the quality, I would say. So the old adage, the old maxim that says uh, you get what you pay for, I think is very true here. Although the price is good, the price point is really good for uh, we feel what we are getting compared to the uh, other big names, but then uh, quality does uh, take the back seat, I believe. Uh, this is my second uh, experience. The first one was with a 1248, uh, which I mentioned in the earlier video, I believe, uh, where uh, a wrong type of screw was used in the uh, for the covers. One, one screw was incorrect. So that uh, sort of uh, rang the uh, alarm bell. But then I thought, okay, let me take a chance because uh, this was recommended uh, by a very well-known person. So I took the chance and uh, ordered. I was very happy with it because uh, everything went on well. It was shipped on time, shipped. Uh, the packaging was excellent. And uh, they did not use any 30-day uh, or 45-day or 60-day courier. They used uh, UPS and uh, it came by UPS very promptly. Uh, but I'm, a, I'm really disappointed because I really do not want to, when I buy anything, I don't want to go back to the seller for any most, I just don't want to because it's too much of uh, the time we have, the work that we do and all that. And this is very time consuming. But I thought, let me, uh, you know, before, uh, you know, using this, others can uh, form their own opinion and uh, make a decision whether to buy or not to buy. Whether I get help or not, that is different. It's not the end of the world. It's 600 plus uh, Canadian dollars. Uh, I have taken a few pictures of close up. Uh, I tried to do it with the uh, microscope, but I could not get the proper lighting. However, uh, I have taken some close up pictures of the comb, the inside. I believe this is done with a five axis uh, milling machine. But uh, you can see in the pictures, the holes, uh, it's very evident there. And on top of that, there is a crack in one of the holes of the comb. There's a crack. And uh, it looked like a line, but then uh, fortunately, since I have access to uh, uh, microscopes, I just saw and uh, it is definitely a crack. And there are such other marks in other holes, but then uh, that hasn't uh, become a crack. But this particular one is definitely a crack. It may not affect uh, the playability at this time, but then it's definitely a manufacturing uh, defect. So uh, let me see if you can, I have actually post, I'll post uh, at the end of this video, I will post uh, pictures that I have taken of the comb, the close-up pictures. In this, uh, I'll try to keep it at an angle. You can see some of the holes where the milling is not done correctly. 
it may not have may or may not affect the playability but then i'm talking about the workmanship you can see when i when i do that you can see some of the holes where the, there are burrs burrs and uh, it is left over of the metal that means the milling machine has not taken out that extra material you can see it uh, in close ups also so the sides of the holes you can uh, if you observe, you can make out that the metal is just, uh, it is there. I hope you can uh, see that. So I have removed the, uh, uh, this is the uh, button side, the, uh, the slight push uh, side, uh, the high, high note, and uh, this is the uh, low note. So again, I'm showing it to you. Uh, and between uh, the crack is actually between uh, on the fifth hole uh, fifth hole like when I hold it uh, this way in uh, the playing position it is at the bottom of the middle uh, ridge it is at this hole the fifth hole that is where the actual draw I don't think the draw problem was that I believe it was just a gap issue but the crack is inside one of these uh, these two holes there. Uh, I think it's in the ridge, the middle ridge. So anyway, I'll speak to the, uh, the distributor and see if anything can be done. I'm sure it will involve uh, sending the harmonica back and their investigation and all that. It is, of course, a waste of time, I would say, for anybody uh, in between. And if only the quality control was good enough, I would not have received it. You know, it's a waste of effort. Uh, somebody packaged it so well, sent it all the way, but the product is not really manufactured to standards. It's definitely a quality issue. So with that, uh, let me see. I will uh, make another video later uh, to let you know the outcome of this. Uh, I do not have the telephone number of the uh, distributor in UK. Uh, I'll send an email and see how the response goes. And I'm sure it should work out pretty well. And if everything works out well, I'm going to remove this video. If it doesn't work out, then um, I'll also post uh, the outcome of uh, what uh, goes uh, going forward uh, with this. Thank you for your time.